How is this possible? What's up, my bomb ass subscriber squad? Hey, what's happening, y'all? Welcome, welcome. I am Tanya Nicole, and welcome to my bomb ass unboxing world. I am so happy you clicked the button to watch your girl today. Now, y'all know I normally post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. But since I received my BoxyCharm base box yesterday, I was like, ooh, maybe I should go in there and hit them with a little bonus video. I asked, y'all said yes, so here we are, boo. So if you guys want to see what's in my base box for August BoxyCharm, Stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, my loves, welcome. As I said in the intro, I'm your girl, Tanya Nicole, and you have now entered into my bomb-ass unboxing world. Today, we're gonna be tackling BoxyCharm Base Box, and um, I didn't look in it yet, y'all, but going forward, I'm gonna have to look in my boxes before I unbox them on my channel so that I can make sure I have a card for product description and prices and all of that good stuff. I did not open this one yet, but starting next month, I will have to open them just to make sure I have information for you guys. I wanna give a big, huge shout out to all of my bomb ass subscriber squad. Y'all, I love you guys. I thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl so consistently. I love y'all, I really do. Girl, today we got a little blue Hawaiian. So let's take a dance break and a drink break. Mm. I just wanna let you guys know at the end of the video, there's a few things I wanna say about BoxyCharm. It's not to bash BoxyCharm. It's not like I'm a BoxyCharm hater. This at one time used to be my favorite sub, guys. But I just need to get some things off of my chest and I hope BoxyCharm is listening because uh, I think the people are a little fed up. So without further ado, let's get this box on and popping, boo. Let's take a dance break and a drink break. Oh, all righty. Got my box cutter, guys, and we're going to slice it open. It must have been kicking my box all over the post office. I don't know. It's just all beat up. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, guys, I didn't even give you guys specs on this box. The base box is the $25 per month beauty subscription. You're supposed to get five full-size beauty products. It's supposed to have an average price of like $120. They do let you customize an item each month. And if you guys want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, my link is down below in the description. So um, let's see what we got, guys. So on the card here, the theme for the month is it has spa, glamping, sunbathe, yoga, and slumber. So I'm not really sure of what the theme is. And on the back here, we have a list of all of the products as well as the um, prices and the variation number, which I will give you guys at the end of the video. So just make sure you guys watch all the way to the end. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet, boo. First thing out the box is my choice product. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer right here. Now I did see that their powder was a choice item, I think for premium. Ooh, I would have loved to have gotten that, I swear. I have the shade Chestnut Guys. This is one of my favorite concealers. It says that it is hydrating, long wear, and photo friendly. Coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid is in here. And I do love this. So I don't know if this is the new bottle or what, but this is my old one right here, where you can see like the product in there. And this one is the one I got today from BoxyCharm. Okay, I'm not gonna open, well, I guess I could open it up and see, let's see. Yeah, it looks like the chestnut shade. I love the applicator. It just looks like it's a little smaller or maybe not, I don't know. In here you get 15 milliliters of product and you got 15 in the other one. So yeah, okay, 
cool. It just looks a little different to me, guys. So I am happy to receive this concealer that I chose because it's really good. And this, guys, is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. And it retails for $29, guys. And again, I have the shade Chestnut. Next up, I have, it's called Big Fat Liner. From It's a coal marker pen. That's what the packaging looks like. And let me see what this is, guys. This is why I like having the card for products that I'm not sure about. I could read a little bit off of here to tell you guys. So this, guys, is the Rockins Cosmetics Big Fat Liner. It says, always start your eye look with your big fat liner. And you can be as bold as you want. Get creative and experiment with different shapes. Okay, this retails for $25, guys. Oh, okay. I haven't heard of this brand before, but let me know if you have. Now, $25, I would not pay $25 for this. I mean, it it's just like a basic liner. Um, I don't know. And this is what it looks like, guys. That's the tip. And we could swatch it right here on the hand right there. Okay, it's very black. It's not, is it matte? I don't know if it's a matte pencil, but it looks very black, 25 bucks. Next up I have from Clarins, and this is the Velvet Lip Perfector right there. That's what the box is looking like, my loves. And we have the shade Velvet Nude right there. Let's see what it looks like, y'all. Okay, so this is the packaging. I wasn't expecting this, y'all. That's the packaging. And it says on here, um, Velvet Lip Perfector. Clarins best-selling natural lip perfectors go bold with a new matte finish. I do like the packaging, guys. A liquid lipstick with a weightless mousse texture that delivers a highly pigmented, velvety finish with soft blur effect. Okay. Formulated with conditioning and nourishing sea butter sea butter, shea butter, <laughs> leaving the lips feeling hydrated for hours. And this retails for $26. I know Clarence is a pretty pricey brand, but ooh, $26. That's what it looks like right there. The applicator is like this cloth type. And let me see how it looks. Oh, so when we squeeze it, it comes out. Let me put it on the back of my head. Oh, okay. And that, let me build it up a little bit, y'all, so y'all can see the true color. That is the shade right there, my loves. There you go. What y'all think about that shade and me? I think it'll look good with a lip liner. What y'all think? I think so. The next product, guys, is from Morphe right here. And this is the I Got This Four Piece Brush Collection. Okay. I don't remember if I saw this as a spoiler or not. But that's what the packaging looks like. Let's take the brushes out. Y'all know I love brushes. So, and I do like Morphe brushes. Here is the four piece brush set right here, my loves. And it looks like we have, this is the oval shadow brush right here. This one here is the angle liner brush. And then we have the pro firm blending crease brush right here. And this one may be, oh, I think that this one was the tapered mini brush. And this one here is the Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush. Okay, they do feel really good, guys. So I'm excited to get a four-piece brush set. I do like Morphe brushes, so that does make me happy. These guys are the Morphe I Got This Brush Set, and they retail for $12 for these brushes. And then our last product in the box is the Violet Voss Essentials 2 Palette. <laughs> I'm very excited to receive a palette. Y'all do know that. So when we take it out, it looks like this, guys, right here. And we open it up and, oh, girl, we got a mirror. <laughs> hey, boo. And my, go oh, okay, y'all. So uh, this little palette, I actually am definitely digging. They have some matte shades, some shimmer shades. The color scheme in here is gorgeous. I love it. 
And uh, I'm gonna go on and swatch this baby. Let's see. So those are the four shades right there on my fingers. And when we swatch them out, those are four shades right there in the palette. Absolutely gorgeous. They went on really nice. That's one swipe each. Okay, I like this palette, BoxyCharm. Violet Voss Essential 2 palette, and it retails for, wow, 36 bucks. Okay, let me take a drink. All right, so that was my final product in this month's BoxyCharm base box for August. We're gonna quickly recap and do final thoughts, okay? So we received my choice item, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer from Big Fat Liner, this coal marker pen here. From Clarins, this Velvet Lip Perfector. From Morphe, this four-piece brush set. And last but not least, from Violet Voss, the Essential 2 palette. Five products for the base box for August. So final thoughts on my base box for this month was I actually liked the base box more than the premium box. My favorite products are four, I guess I would, I'm gonna use the liner, but these four are like my favorite products in the box. The liner, I think it's a little overpriced to be $25 for like a basic like gel liner. It's just ridiculous to me, but Four out of the five, I think, is a pretty good base box. This is the type of products that I would expect to see in my base box. So I'm I'm quite pleased with it. If I had to rate this box on a scale of one, being this box is garbage. Go to the damn incinerator! To five, being this box is the bomb.com. Boo, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to give BoxyCharm's base box based on the products that I received and the fact that these are definitely base box products, I'm gonna give them, oh, my earring fell, guys. Okay, a whopping four for this month. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on my base box. Let me know what you got in your base box. And um, let me just go on and give my thoughts on BoxyCharm real quick. If you don't wanna hear it, guys, thank you so much for watching thus far. I greatly appreciate you tremendously for tuning in this long. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And I will talk to you in the comments later. But for my people that's here for it, let me just give it to you real quick. I'm gonna keep this very short. So BoxyCharm was one of my favorite boxes when I first started unboxing subs on my YouTube channel. I loved it. I look forward to it every single month because they only had the base box. And then gradually they moved up to the Lux box, which still was amazing. I found that since BoxyCharm has added the premium box, that BoxyCharm is like they're fighting for products or searching for products to feel base box and the premium box. On choice days, if they put up choice at noon by 12.02, the product, all of the good products are gone. But if you go to Boxy add-on, they're there. So what I'm trying to figure out is, is BoxyCharm purposely taking the good products off of their choice days saying they're sold out just so that they can turn around and get us to buy it for a well discounted rate on add-ons. So you're getting your $25 box or your $35 box and you don't get the product that you really want, but it's available for sale and add-ons. How is that possible on the same day? Tell me. That's my issue with BoxyCharm. I think they have become so money hungry that they forgot about the customers that truly fell in love with them for what they used to be. And that was a solid box that gave you solid products and it was no bull crap. That was it. I feel since they added this premium box, they have been struggling to find products, especially premium products, to fill this box. I wish that they would just do away with premium and go back to the basics of the base box and the luxe box every three months. And they need an app to make it easier for us. It is a struggle every month. Now, again, I know I have some ride or die BoxyCharm fans out there that will dispute anything that I say about BoxyCharm because I guess I don't know why, but this is my own personal opinion, guys. And I just feel like BoxyCharm is just changing from a brand or a box that we loved to a money hungry, like, I don't know. They just trying to suck every bit of money from their consumer that they can. And I just don't think that that is cool, guys. If it's available for choice, give me my choice product 
and then, you know, make it available for add-ons for the following month. But the same day and the same time that you release Choice, it's sold out, but you can buy it on add-on. Mm, no. And I'm just not happy with that. But that is my take on BoxyCharm. They need to go back to the basics and just be a good box. Just stop trying to compete because they didn't have to. BoxyCharm was in a whole league of its own. I just feel that now they're just, you know, trying to get all these great spoilers out, putting them out there. And when Choice Day comes, they're not available. We don't get the spoilers, but they are available on add-ons. Don't, don't do that to me, BoxyCharm. So that's all that I have to say, guys. I appreciate you all for listening to my little rant. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that. If you agree or disagree, let's talk about it. But we're just going to be respectful about it, boo. That's it. Y'all know I don't care if y'all agree or disagree with me, just as long as you can tell me why and we can discuss it. You know, that's it. So guys, that is all that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus video from your girl, Tanya Nicole. Oh, oh. Uh, now, I taped this after I got off from work, y'all. So, um, bear with me tomorrow. I'm going to try to get to comments. But, who I hate to leave my people hanging by not answering them. I don't want y'all to think I'm neglecting y'all. But, work has been killing me. So, I will try to, in between, you know, answer you guys. When I get home at night, answer you guys. Just understand, guys, that I see your comments and I'm going to get to them. I promise. Y'all know I wouldn't let y'all down, right? Okay. That's all that I have, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of those links are down below. Also, the BoxyCharm link. I will see you guys on Monday's video where we're unboxing Allure. And uh, before I recorded the video, I didn't know they increased their price from $15 to $23 starting in October. Y'all know I'm canceling the lore. I am not going to be. Mm -mm. We'll save that for another video as well. Okay, guys, I got to go. I love you all so much. Bye.